This is the Scotty Vest RFID Travel Vest for Men. Okay folks, something a bit different for you today. Today we're going to look at the Scotty Vest. This is uh, the RFID blocking Scotty Vest travel vest. For those of you who are not familiar with Scotty Vest, they, uh, they basically make a whole range of uh, clothing that has lots and lots and lots of pockets. And I mean, it's absolutely stuffed to the gunnels with pockets. So this is actually my second Scotty Vest. Uh, I've been wearing one for about five or six years when I'm traveling and it's been absolutely indispensable. But unfortunately, it's a bit too big for me now, so I've got a smaller one. So let's get into this. It comes in a plastic bag with holes in it in case you want to wear it like a hat. And here it is. Scotty Vest. This is the RFID Vest for Men. And as you can see, this is the little, uh, what they call the X-ray view. And it's loads of pockets. This is actually specifically designed to carry as much stuff as you can possibly get into it. And let's face it, who doesn't like stuff? It's got uh, several pockets on the outside. And these are specifically designed for tech. Uh, we know this because they have little labels on them that show you pictures of tech, which gives it away. So on the outside here, we have a pocket here, which is pretty darn big. I have quite big hands. I can get all the way in there. And inside, you have little extra pockets. So there's actually three little pockets in that one. And then here, if I can find the zip. Another really big pocket. Also in here, we can see this. There's little slits in the top of the pocket, and we'll get to that in a minute. But there is a purpose there. On the outside, we have these uh, large pockets that have magnetic closures in them. So even when you don't have the zip up, they still kind of stay closed, which is kind of handy. Inside, again, you have a little opening. You have a key keeper that is detachable, which is a good thing. Um, you have some information. The reason it's in the shape of a water bottle, believe it or not, there's actually a loop in here for a water bottle. Yes, this actually will fit a water bottle, believe me, I've tried it. Because these pockets go all the way to the top. So you can get something pretty damn big in there. Um, you can get a, a full-size bottle of water, you can get uh, an umbrella, Basically, whatever you want to stuff in there, you can. The other side is exactly the same. So we have another pocket. This one has a zipped section off it, so you can actually section off part of the pocket, making a second pocket within a pocket with... Ah, oh, too many pockets to speak of. Uh, again, magnetic closure, and again, that thing is been huge. So, uh, on the back, we're not done with pockets on the outside yet. We have this pocket, which I must be honest, I don't really use because it's a huge pocket, but the material is quite thin here. So whatever you stuff in there is gonna be kind of big. Uh, I've used it for, um, for raincoats. Um, I've used it for magazines but really I tend not to use it too much. So, onto the inside, and this is where the cool bits start. The zippers are actually pretty good as well. So, we have some paper, which 
we really don't need. And on this side, you'll see these little loops. And this actually is for your headphones. So what the idea is that you, um, you can keep your device in your pocket. You can run your headphones through that little slit in each of those pockets, up through uh, these holes, or the, sorry, these loops, and keep your headphones in perfect place for you. It's it's pretty smart actually. Um, even when like by today's when we kind of everyone's using um, head, Bluetooth headphones and wireless headphones. When you're traveling, don't forget some places, uh, some uh, airlines don't let you use Bluetooth technology on the plane. So this is kind of handy. But um, moving on, uh, we have a pocket which is designed for. I don't know if you can see that. It's for your phone. I guess they put a picture of a phone beside it. It's Velcro at the top and has a little zipper opening. And you can fit your phone in there. Uh, let's see, I have my iPhone 7 in a pretty chunky case. And it fits in there nicely. Uh, this plastic is actually, you can use your touch through it, so you still have the functionality of your phone without taking it out of your pocket, which is kind of nice. So if you do have Bluetooth headphones in, you can still control it. Uh, here we have a sunglasses pocket with a little sunglasses cleaning cloth, which also has a map of the Scotty vest. And it's on a bungee and it's not removable, but it's kind of useful. So we'll leave that there. Uh, pen pocket here. Uh, down here we have a camera pocket, which is actually quite a good size. And inside that we have another pocket, which I believe is supposed to be for SD cards. that side. On the other side here, we have another of these smartphone pockets, which if you have a second phone or maybe an iPod or something like that, comes in handy. What's in here? Oh, I'll take this out of the bag so you can see it. Apparently, Steve Wozniak likes Scotty West, as do other people. Johnny Jet, travel expert. Of course it would be. What name like that? What else could it be? Uh, so, other pocket here. Again, a little kind of half zip with the uh, Velcro on the top. Plastic cover, which you can still touch through. Another pen pocket. More keepers for your headphones. Uh, this is what's different from uh, my previous my previous uh, Scotty vest. Oh, this is a little ID pocket. Um, this pocket here is actually RFID blocking, which is kind of handy. It's uh, designed specifically for your passports and um, travel cards, that kind of thing. Anything that has uh, chips in it that you do not want anyone to read. So. It's shiny, and it's pretty well sealed with Velcro. So you throw your, that's big enough for a passport, you throw your passport in there, maybe credit cards, um, travel cards if you have those Oyster cards, with the, the contactless uh, technology, so keeps them nice and safe. And, oh, it's actually removable. So if you wanted to throw this in a bag, maybe, if you were taking your vest off or what have you, you can do that. And you still have use of this rather large pocket. Um, I tend to, in this pocket, I tend to keep uh, my boarding passes, things like that. Uh, and this is an iPad pocket. You can fit a full size, and by full size, I mean my, uh, I have a 
10 and a half inch iPad Pro, and it will fit in one of these pockets, which is pretty damn impressive, I must be honest. So as you can see, there's a hell of a lot of pockets in this stuff. And it's, it's basically when you're traveling, it turns into an extra piece of hand luggage. Because uh, I don't know about you, but when I'm traveling, I usually use my hand luggage for uh, breakables and electronics. So if I got all my electronics in this, that leaves my hand luggage for more stuff. Um, the other great thing about, uh, about using one of these when you're traveling is when you're going through the airport, all you have to do is take this off, throw it on the conveyor belt with the, uh, the rest of your stuff, and you're good to go. It's not fishing stuff out of your pockets. Uh, I usually throw my wallet and my phone. Um, anything that I would normally keep in my pockets, I usually throw into here. And that way it's just a matter of taking it off, going through security very, very quickly. One good thing that I find with the Scotty vest um, is that if you have this thing loaded, absolutely loaded for bear, what they have is they have an internal yoke system. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but basically what it does is it evens out the, uh, the weight across the entire vest. So it, if you have this side loaded full of stuff, yeah, it's going to feel heavier than this side, but because of the way that it's designed, it loads, it spreads the load quite evenly, which is really, really nice because believe me, I have come back from holidays with this thing absolutely stuffed full of things. And it's been brilliant because you really don't feel the weight um, as you would with it if it was in a bag or something. Um, the material itself, although it's Teflon coated, it's not exactly waterproof. Um, yeah, the water will sort of bead on it a little bit, but it's not going to protect you from a shower. Uh, believe me, I know. Um, however, what I have found is that um, even standing waiting for a plane with um, a whole pile of tech in this thing and getting absolutely soaked in, uh, in a rain shower, all my stuff was fine. There was no problems with it at all. Um, if you're going to stand on in it for any length of time, it might be a different story. One of the other benefits I find uh, using these vests is that even though you have you know iPads and phones and, and cameras and all sorts of things in here. It doesn't really, from the outside, doesn't really look as if you're, you know, you're packing a hell of a lot of stuff in there, because they actually have a no bulk type of uh, type of design in this, in that all the pockets go in rather than out. So from the outside, you don't see massive bulges. It all kind of comes in because of the uh, the nature of this kind of meshy type material, which is really really good because nobody wants to look like they've got some sort of tactical vest whilst traveling through an airport. It, you know. Bulges tend to draw attention uh, in uh, clothing like this. So that is the Scotty Vest. Now, unfortunately, Scotty Vest don't currently have a UK vendor. Um, I did ask them, but they said, no, not at the minute. So you will have to go through the Scotty Vest website. The good thing about that, though, although you're, you're probably paying a premium to go through, um, through the American site, they do almost always offer um, coupon codes, you'll almost always find at least 20% off um, if you use a bit of Google Foo. Um, the other thing is they have pre they've told me that they periodically offer half price international mail costs, which is actually quite good uh, because it is quite expensive. The, the vest itself retails for about $135, which sounds quite a lot, but if you compare it to the likes of um, North Face or any of those premium brands, it's really not that bad. Uh, with the 20% discount code, it brings it down a good bit, which is helpful, and the half price international shipping again brings it down to a more reasonable amount. When I paid, um, I think it was around £100 all in to get this delivered, I did get hit for about £30 on uh, the international custom fees, which was a bit of a pain in the backside. So, all in, it's about £130 for me, but my last one is still looking as good as this one does after five or six years of, of pretty uh, heavy use. So I have no doubt that it lasts well. It is Teflon coated material. Uh, it does not stain, um, so I have every confidence in it. Uh, really, I can't recommend this enough. Um, the folks in Scotty Vest are fantastic to deal with. Um, I've had a very positive customer uh, experience with them. So um, I would very much recommend checking them out. They do, um, hoodies, they do vests, they do jackets, they do underpants, which is kind of bizarre because who wants pockets in your underpants? Somebody might. But anyway, if you're interested, check them out. And if not, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.
Thanks for that, Paul. Check the show notes down the bottom uh, for further information. Give us a wee thumbs up if you fancy, and hit that subscribe button. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.